Hey guys, uh, today I want to talk real quick about what we covered in class dealing with observations and uh, what they are and then what the two main types are. Um, so first of all, observations, you make these all the time and, and it's probably the most important skill that you can develop uh, not only in this class but uh, also just kind of in your life in general is just being observant and noticing things around you uh, not only with what you see or hear or smell but I mean all, using all your senses to gather information uh, so that's exactly what observations are it's uh, the information that you gather with your senses um, so using all five of those sense, senses uh, there are two main types of observations we've got quantitative and qualitative observations and this is a, a notes page that you guys worked on in class uh, so these are we're gonna try these out some Cornell notes that's the style of them um, but this should be in your notebook the next page after your title page okay so observations again are gather information with your senses quantitative observations are the um, ones that are measurable. They deal. They tell you how much or how many of something. And the way that I think it would be best to remember that is look at quantitative has the letter N in it. And that's important because N for numbers, I think that'll help you. Uh, so quantitative observations, think of the word quantity. It tells how much or how many. They're measurable, they deal with numbers. For example, if we said that there are 312 students in the sixth grade, that's quantitative. It tells how many. It deals with numbers. Um, as opposed to qualitative observations. Qualitative observations, they, they tell you what it's like. You see the word quality. see the word quality in that word. Okay? So qualities are, are like, hey, what color, what shape, what texture, uh, is the smell, what, like, what does it smell like? Uh, does it smell rotten? Does it smell like flowers? Whatever. Um, so they're not measurable. Okay, so for my example on this one, it just said that the Sour Patch Kids are sour and delicious. And um, so that there's nothing in that that's measurable. Uh, and then over on the left-hand side of your column, you should have a line drawn or that margin. Uh, include these vocab words. So you've got the word observation, quantitative, qualitative. And then down at the bottom, we'll probably start class with this tomorrow a little bit, is I'll have you write a summary as far as like one to two sentences about what... Um, what this means, what this topic is. So just kind of putting it in your, in your own words. Um, and then I've got another review thing that you're gonna be doing with a partner tomorrow. Um, for your homework tonight, you took a look at this sheet and I just wanted you to identify, and it says cut and paste, but I had you switch that. So the qualitative ones, I wanted you to mark with a star. Quantitative, I had you mark those with a circle. Okay, so let me show you these real quick. Let's just go through these in case you get stuck. So qualitative, whoop. I want you to star them. Quantitative, you can circle them. So the gummy worm increased by two inches. So it tells you how much. So that is quantitative. So this one should have a circle next to it. That's a sweet looking circle. All right, there were four dogs. Again, you see this number. It tells how many. Quantitative tells how many. The dogs were small. I don't see any numbers on there. There's nothing measurable. That's qualitative. So I want you to star that one. The sample contained three different types of bacteria. And again, anytime you see these numbers, that should jump out at you. Quantitative. So that's a circle. The patient complained of aches and pains. Aches and pains. There's no numbers. So that's going to be qualitative. The patient had a temperature of 102 degrees. There's a number, 102, that tells how much of a, of a temperature they had. So quantitative, that'd be your circle. The chimp identified 12 pictures correctly. 12 is a number that's quantitative, so that's a circle. The parrots ranged from bright green to dark red. No numbers, qualitative. Hopefully you're catching on on these. The balloon increased in size from five inches to eight inches around. Okay, whoops, my lights just turned off. Uh, let me wave at my lights and get those taken care of. Turn on. hi -ya. All right, almost done. 
we'll just do this column and then uh, you can do the other ones and we can talk about it tomorrow. So the balloon increased from five to eight inches. Again, those are numbers, quantitative, and there we go. So if it deals with numbers, quantitative. Again, quantitative. Quantitative, numbers, measurable. Qualitative, no numbers, not measurable. All right. Um, We'll practice these again in class a little bit to start out, and then we're going to focus on observations compared to inferences, and these are, these are pretty fun things too. So uh, keep working at it, and if you get stuck, let me know. Bye.